Hey guys, Monster Matt here, and welcome back once again to the Pokemon Leaf Green Randomizer Nuzlocke. As you can see, we are here before the entrance to Victory Road. If you don't know how we got here, there's a card on the right-hand side of the screen that has all the uh, links you'll need, because it's only one link, the playlist for this whole series. If you do know what's going on, then you know last time around we beat the snot out of Giovanni, who was actually named uh, Florentino, I believe, the eighth gym leader. I decided to skip my way right to the entrance of Victory Road, because we already came part of the way here after catching Game Slayer, the newest member of our team who has actually proven himself to be rather amazing because um, he is, of course, a Swampert with Torrent and a massively powerful moveset and a good stat line to boot. So, doing real well. I, um, with us, we have Demand our Venusaur, perhaps the most beloved member of our team, at least among, you know, people who like grass types. And honestly, he's 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 done a lot to uh, bring me around as well, so kudos to him. His defense and special defense are both ridiculous, his special attack even more so. He's just a really solid Pokemon. His only weakness really is how slow he is and how his health isn't that impressive for a Venusaur, but overall, I really can't complain. Moves, of course, are Sludge Bomb, Leaf Blade, Spore, and Frenzy Plant, which is why he is up front. He is our Capture Specialist. We're hoping for a nice Pokemon in Victory Road itself. Hoping for the, for, the, for either a Pupitar or something else really cool, because I'm pretty sure the Pokedex has told us there's, some, there, there's, there's Pupitars in there. I don't know for sure. They're probably really rare, but hopefully we get something good at the very least. Next up, we have Paragon X with, of course, Illuminate, which is not really the best ability ever. But with his stat line and the fact that he's a Metagross, who cares, really? Rocking that Psybeam, Steel Wing, Meteor Mash, Earthquake, making sure you know that when he rolls up, you go down. Mythic Red, our Ho-Oh, sturdy, so he's nigh indestructible, and if that wasn't enough, his stat line will convince you of the rest. 108 defense, 142 special defense, and almost 300 HP at level 46. This thing is basically indestructible. He's only got one move of any actual worth, and that's Flamethrower, because, of course, his physical attack is in the pits. But hopefully, at level 55, he'll finally learn something new. I would teach him other things by, via TM, but he doesn't want to learn anything. I've checked. So, you know, this is how it's going to be. He's got a Flamethrower. He's kind of a one-trick pony, but he's also just so tanky. You kind of don't care. Game Slayer, of course, the newest member of our team, with Torrent, which is the ability he's supposed to have, which is just kind of funny, but the attack, special attack, and speed he's got are nothing like what he's meant to have, because it's enormous. A speed of 162, making him the fastest thing on our entire team, with the offense to match. He is our mixed sweeper from hell. He's got the Surf Iron Tail, Earthquake, Hyper Voice, Power Special, here to ruin you, roll you up, and throw you out the window if, if, if ever you actually come to fight him. Nidhogg, who is our work in progress, but still pretty solid and a lot more powerful than any Dragoner I've ever had. With 170 HP, 110 special attack, and 111 special defense, he's pretty solid. His defense could be a little bit better, but that's all good. Shell Armor makes him crit-proof, which helps shore up his slightly lackluster defense. But his attacks of Dragon Breath, Surf, and Confusion are okay. Surf is his only really, really, like, really good one, but Tail Glow helps him shore up whatever he's lacking in the other two. Hopefully when he evolves to Dragonite, he'll learn something really cool, but if not, it's fine. We'll just surf things to death all day long. And of course, Julian is just here for strength, unfortunately. He's a good Pokemon, but Game Slayer has very, very, very comfortably filled the role of ground type on this team. So we're heading into Victory Road, both to get through it and for a new catch. So here we go. Alrighty. Get started on this puzzle. Right to it. What the point in uh, waffling about? Julian will push these stones around for us. Of course, whatever we catch, we're not going to be able to see what it actually has or how good it is until we hit, uh, hit the end and check the PC. But for now, this will have to do. Right. Heave ho. Heave ho. Step at a time. Ooh, hang on. And here we go. What's it going to be? It is a Celio. Level 40. Water ice. We don't have a water type on our... Do we? No. My brain was like... Yes, we, yes, we do. Of course we do. We, 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 we have Game Slayer. Yeah, we do have a, a water type now. But then again... Hmm. Hmm. Ice is pretty good. Well, I mean, defensively, no, it's not. But having, having Ice Beam can be pretty good. Especially if you bump into any dragon types. Because right now, the only thing we have to fight dragons is another dragon. And we know how that goes. So this could be good. It's faster than D-Man as well, which... Isn't saying much, but at least it, at least it makes sure we know that it's not super super slow, which is another good thing for fighting dragons. So why not? Still hoping for that pupitar, but I will take what I can get. 
Let's see how well it takes hits. Six level difference. D-Man's attack isn't that high, though. Um, but Sludge Bomb is quite powerful, and 92 isn't that bad, either. Well, if it can survive the Sludge Bomb, we'll be in good shape, I guess. Here we go. How well do you take hits? Not bad. From a Venusaur six levels higher than you, that has a, 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 a decent enough attack stat? Not bad. I will take that. Okay. Have ourselves a Celio, potentially, if this goes well. Two, three, and good. Nice. I don't really want to double up on water types so much. We have Game Slayer after all, but an ice type could be could be, you know, worth the the uh worth it hmm, worth enough to make an exception, is what I meant to say. There we go. Celio, the ball Pokemon. It touches new things with its nose to, to test for smell and feel. It plays by spinning feel on its nose. Ah, poor feel. It's like help me! Help me! Get me down! Ah! Alright, well I don't really have a name ready for this guy. Um hmm. Evolves into Walrein. We can call him Wally. Wally Walrein. That's a little bit, uh, well, I've heard worse, I guess. He's here for ice. He's got water. He's, uh, yeah, it's called Wally. I don't want to stay here all day long and, 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 uh, deliberate on this. So let's just, let's just move along. If, if, uh, you, you guys have a better name for him, there's always the name raider. Now, if the next thing I bump into is a Pupitar, I'm going to be very upset. But, uh, you know. These things happen, you know? All right. Uh, oh, hang on. And it's a uh, Graveler. How very normal. That's exactly what you'd expect to find in here, really. It's got Dig. That's cool. D-Man's defense should be more than good enough to hold him through that, though. Weird that he's the same level as us and the same speed and faster, apparently, too. Attack is kind of lackluster, though, I gotta say. Down he goes. Nothing too serious going on there. Is that a free level for Demand? No, not quite. Let's leave Demand out one more time. I want to um, put Nidhogg up front and get him some experience in here, but a Pidgey. Are you serious? What is that doing in here? Get out of here. Just chew. Shoo. Shoo, shoo. Go away. <laughs> Hey, that's enough of level, so it's all good. Okay, cool. Because um, what I'm hoping to do in here is to raise uh, um, Nidhogg up to the point where he's able to evolve into Dragonite because we want to have him at his full potential for the Elite Four. Oh, great, this puzzle. Not puzzle, but it's like, make your choice, pick an item. All right, fine, I will. Or maybe I'll fight things first. Illumize. No, sorry, Volbeat. Bleh. My bad. All right, I'm not really sure I care enough to fight you, but... Bye. TM17, it contains recycle. Ooh. All right. Let me go outside and come back in for the, for the other one. See, what, see if it's anything better, maybe. Slow King? Interesting. How do you hold up against my, my uh, dragon breath? My, 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 my bad, gnarly breath. Pretty good, actually. Oh, that's bad. I'm glad the Nidhogg has a high, uh, high special defense. That would be really, really scary. Still kind of is, really. Lowers his stats pretty good, though. Let me just tail glow you so I can stop being quite so afraid of you. <laughs> you know, of course, being one of the Pokemon that I think tail glow is the most appropriate on, considering he has those gems on its tail. Psybeam won't do too much. He just nerfed his attack stats, so it's all good. Bad breath. Blah. Psycho like boost again. Well, barring a pretty gnarly crit, we should be fine. And, of course, Nidhogg is immune to those, so... We're fine. All right. Finish him off. Get some nice experience, because with Lucky Egg on, Nidhogg should have a pretty solid chunk of experience from that. Yeah, 1,500, not bad. Of course, his experience requirement is really high, but a little bit of luck will get him to Dragonite before too long. We just get some healing in him. And go reset that puzzle, and we'll be back and doing things in no time. So I'll see you guys back here at, at, at the puzzle in a moment. If anything cool happens, I'll be sure to uh, bring you back in. But until then, give me like two shakes. Do you think she didn't just actually got Wonder Garden this? No way, right? 
Oh my god, it has it still has Wonder Guard. That's the second Pokemon we've seen that actually has the ability that it's meant to have. Damn it! I wanted a Wonder Guard Pokemon. Uh fine. Mythic Red. Oh well. It really just has Tail Glow. I'm kinda curious what moves it has. Also if it has more than one HP. Probably not, I guess. You'd think that it would, but let's find out. Uh, no, it does not. It definitely does not. Alright, well, that was weird. Cool, but weird. Hang on, I'm st like, that was li li quite literally the first thing I bumped into, so... Still running. Okay, we're back. Just, no, don't mess this up. There we go. And we have... A Macho Brace, which I really don't care about. Okay, well, carrying on. First trainer up ahead there. We'll see what we get. But first, another Celio. I don't want you anywhere near my dragon, do I? I don't know if you have Ice Beam or not, but I'm not going to wait to find out. You're going to... Actually, I don't have all that much against Ice, do I? Alright, Paragon! It does have Ice Beam! Well, that's good to know. We got one of those. It will serve its Dragon Slaying... Pr 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 uh, dragon Slaying purpose quite well. Not faster than Paragon X, but it is six levels lower and not fully evolved, so we'll see if that holds up. Takes hits pretty well, though. Ice Punch as well. I'll punch you with my mustache. <laughs> uh, I, will, I actually, I actually want to see that now. Just, just, just like, like a, like a, a, um, a drawing of a Celio's mustache curled up in, in, into a fist on, on, on both sides. Like, come on, I'll fight ya. Uh, that'd be awesome. Kind of dumb, but you know, funny dumb. All right, you face me or don't. Never mind. Hang on. Shit, ninja again. You weird little dude. Um, I need to switch back to- like, we, we have one Pokemon who can actually hit this thing. Because Wonder Guard. Spiderweb, can't escape. That's fine. I'm not trapped in here with you, you're trapped in here with me. I, I have four things that can kill you. Take your pick. Alright, all good there. A bit of experience for everybody. Well, for, you know, two people anyway. Now, what do you have, miss? Or sir, or depending on which, your, what, 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 what your uh, name might be. I wonder if you're good enough for me. I don't know. Guess we'll find out. You are... Gent Kate. Octowl. Well, not a bad Pokemon at all. Let's get our tail glow on. Get ready to sweep the whole, this whole team. We'll have to speed up a little bit because, of course, it's a five-person team. There's a lot of big trainer fights in this place. Ah, okay. I was momentarily very concerned there. Don't do that to me again, please. You are very healthy, aren't you? Paralyzed. Whoop, whoop. Cool. It's got... Oh, all right, sure. They have a hyper potion. That's awesome. Gotta love the hyper potions. Can I get a confuse? No need to. You're still paralyzed. Haha. -ha. All right. So I'm going to power through this for you guys because these are long fights. As always, if anything cool happens, I'll be sure to uh, stop and observe it more carefully. A cast form. Maybe this whole fight is worth it. Is worth watching. It's kind of interesting. Kind of interesting, actually. Dragon breath. They're nice and healthy, anyway. Doesn't take hits, doesn't take hits quite as well as the Noctowl did, though. Almost at 52. Ursa Ring. Oh. Man, her, uh, th this person's team is kind of awesome. Uh, surface will think a little bit stronger. Because Stab Dragon Breath is power... Well, they're pretty similar, actually. Extra Sensory. Really, though. Not that painful. My Confusion isn't as powerful in base power, but with the uh, Tail Glow on me, it should be fine. Good experience off that. Oh, two and a half thousand. Very nice. 52. We're getting close. I can feel it! Mareep. And then you went and ruined the ride. Just a little Mareep. Not, not even an Ampharos, but a Mareep. Mareep, Mareep, a little sheep. Beep, beep, it's Mareep. Alright, Earthquake. It doesn't deserve Earthquake, but Earthquake. <laughs> it's, it sounds so sad when it, when, when it faints. Comes in like, yay! And then leaves like, Mareep. 
Slow King again. Well, this time around we've got... Then again, it has Psycho Boost, doesn't it? Maybe we don't want to put D-Man in there. He's part poison. Even with it, his, his high defenses and its low offenses could still be bad. Let's go ahead and use... Game Slayer, actually, should be fine. His defenses are kind of bad, but his offense is ridiculous, so... Sh shaky, shaky, shaky. Snatch. Wait for Switch to make a move. I don't think I know how that works, but you should be dead, so it doesn't matter. Please be dead. Thank you. I appreciate your cooperation. Level 50 for the big, big, uh, amphibious doom machine. That offense of his is as good as ever. Oh, I lost out. Yeah, sorry about that. All right, powering on. I'm not, I'm, I'm tempted to actually put on some max repels. Because while these guys are great training, they're going to wear us down a little too fast. And I'm torn on that one. Because great training is nice, but you need to have enough moves left to fight the trainers in here, you know? I, th I think I think I think that I think that is what I will have to do. I'll put on a max repel. We will come back in and train as needed once we actually get to the other side. But right now, oh hello there. We need to focus on these guys. I can see you're good. Now let me see exactly how good. All right, another cool trainer. Well, normally anyway. Right now he's Gent Liliana, <coughs> or they are, I should say, Haunter. Ooh. Sorry, need a little, a little bit of water there. Let's try setting up a tail, a tail glow. I do like my setups. You guys know this by now. Shadow Punch. Not too bad, actually. I didn't want to do that. My A button is very twitchy. <sighs> Memo to me. Get new controller so old one stops being annoying. Shadow Punch again. That's getting rather powerful, actually. Did it do more damage that time, or is it my imagination? Hmm. Well, let's be careful anyway. Alright. With two tail glows, a super effective confusion should do some pretty heinous damage. Yep. Oh, a crit, too. Very nice. Sorry there, Hunter. Next up, we've got Sol Rock. Well, second verse, same as the first, but now we're going to use Surf instead of Confusion. It's fast. Very fast. Okay. I'm ten levels higher, and it's still faster fast. But is it tough? And if so, is it tough enough? The answer is, at uh, new. Good experience. Wigglytuff. Kind of a rare Pokemon at this point in the proceedings. Sandstorm is bad for both of us. I think this would be a fairy type in future generations, but for right now, Dragon Breath should work just fine. Double Tail Glow Stab should do pretty good damage. Yep, we're good there. Climbing up, climbing up, and Tauros! Hey! I don't see him often enough. What's up, dude? What ability do you have? I really hope it's not Wonder Guard. I don't have any fighting moves on anybody. Okay, we're good. Would have made me very, very sad if it was Wonder Guard. Also jealous, because I would have wanted one really badly. Almost 3,000 experience. My goodness. No attack gain whatsoever, but 4 HP, 2 in all the specials, and 2 in speed, 1 in defense. Nice. And Quillfish! Hey, look, guys, it's Zapdos. I'm still mad about that. Can you blame me, though, really? Can you? Go ahead about the Sandstorm. Go ahead about the Sandstorm. I'm going to go ahead and just Confusion you, although I'm tempted to heal, I will say. But Double Tail Glow Confusion should be enough to put you down, really. Okay. I was momentarily concerned that I was wrong about that, but I was not. All right. Two levels to go. I had a chance. Oh, I had a dream once. He's got a dream. He's got a dream. All right. This is a fairly easy rock. I mean, honestly, the, 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 the rock pushing in here isn't really even a puzzle. It's just, you know, push rock to thing. More of a formality than an actual puzzle. But it's all good. With no wild Pokemon, we can just focus on where we're going. Oh, and fighting you. 
Les Harris Victory Road. It's the final test for trainers. I'm not sure what, what exact accent that was supposed to be, but I think it was vaguely Scottish. Artist Stacy <coughs> with Togetic. Who I think I fought before and has Volt Absorb, I believe, which is craziness. Not really anything too good for us. I'm gonna heal on the off chance you're not a pushover. Because you never can tell with these Pokemon. Trying to use Sketch. Cool! Let's go for a, for a little bit of setup on, on Tail Glow. If it has a high special defense, this, this could be a very long fight. Or it's gonna do that. Please don't kill me. It would make me sad. Okay. I mean, on the one hand, thank you for not murdering me. On the other hand, I hate you. Oh, five health. Five health from full. Are you kidding me? I am so glad that I healed. Whew. Okay. And then the Chikorita knows submission because it's a fighting Chikorita. That's fine, I guess. An angry pedal. All right, fine. More tail glow for you. Your whole team must burn because you almost killed me. Matter of fact, if the Togedek had been after the Chikorita, I probably would have died just now. Or, you know, a minute ago. Double tail glow dragon breath should be more than enough to put you down. A lot of health, don't you? And Haunter once again. I fought you before. Cool. Hi, bye. This worked before, it should work again. And we're good. Okay, self-destruct Togetic. Note to self, watch out for that. Achoo! 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 Here, we're gonna get uh, this item here. Team 41, Swift. I mean, it's not a terrible move. It's not the best, but it's okay. Yo, you there. Uh, so you wish to challenge the Elite Four, do you then? Well, I am the juggler. Actually, an ace trainer, Kimberly. Karvanha, the Paranha. Karvanha. A lot of things going well for me on this one, but a Tail Glow Dragon Breath should still do the, should still do the job. Water Pulse. Good move. Confusion would be annoying. Thank you for that. Somehow I knew. I always suspect that. Fine, fine. It's okay. Nidhogg is good. He'll power right through it. Apparently I should just keeps talking, because apparently the game is listening to me for once. The more I say things, the more they just happen. I say I'm gonna get confused, I get confused. I'm saying I'm gonna get confusion, I get another confusion. Yeah, whatever. Sableye, who would better not have Wonder Guard. I'm pretty sure it doesn't have fought one before. But if it does, we are so dead. Barring, like, using, sh like, I think, um, I'm pretty sure that Struggle gets past, um, Wonder Guard, but other than that, yeah. Alright, we're all good. I don't know what ability it does have, but it's not Wonder Guard, at least. Can you imagine a Pokemon with, uh, uh who, who, well, I mean, we have to have, I mean, I, I, I suppose in theory, there could be a Pokemon that had, like, two abilities, or, or, if it started off with, with, uh, Wonder Guard, but you had another Pokemon that had, like, chained its, its, um, ability with, like, uh, with, uh, roleplay. So, like, it has Wonder Guard, and the other, uh, and the, 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 the other Pokemon has, like, color change, and because of roleplay, they keep swapping it back and forth. Can you imagine a tag team like that? That would be ridiculous. It'd be hell on wheels. It'd be really hard to, to, to keep up of, you know, who, who has what, and what moves are good against who, and, uh, oh, yeah, yoy. Doug Trio! Also, it was a, bayon uh, 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 a bayonet just now, but it, 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 it kind of died. And Drizzle, too, which makes my Surf even more powerful, so hey, works for me. Nidhogg is running pretty low on Surfs, though. That's a Dugtree with a lot of health. Alright. You got me. Alright, where it hurts. In my Dugtrio. Okay. You just go over there. I'm be here. Mystic Water! I would've got that. What do you have? Come on, I'll whip you! With my whip, because he's a tamer. Well, normally he's a tamer, uh, which was a gymnast. Forest! Run, Forest! Run! Dodrio! 
Well, in the interest of not getting pecked to death, let's switch out to... I mean, Paragon should be fine, right? You'd think? Eh, probably should have healed at some point. Mythic Red is the safest choice we have. He's nigh indestructible, so... Go ahead. Extra Sensory? It's trying to be a Delta Dodrio, because I've, I've been told by those uh, lovely watchers uh, who check out... Wow, good hit. I, I've been told by, by the, the uh, lovely viewers who drop by my Pokemon Insurgent streams that Delta Doduo is a Psychic type, which is very weird and cool. Alright. Nice burn. Good timing. I think Red is now level 46. Oh, almost level 47. Magneton! Well, William Thrower works the same way against you, doesn't it? And you should go down, I imagine. Yeah, very nice. Because, of course, um, we have a Magnemite of our own, and his defense is quite high, but his special defense not quite as good. I got whipped instead of you! Yes, indeed, I do. Alright, looking for a rock now. Hello, Mr. Rock. Actually, I should probably heal first. Before we get too carried away here. Let me just patch up Demand. Maybe Paragon X as well? Eh, should be alright there. Um, I do wish I could use some of my Ethers, but I'm trying to hold on to them for the Elite Four, because that's where they're really, really, really valuable. Is Victory Road too tough? Not for me, I am the best. Another Ace Trainer, Antoinette. Hello, hello, hello. Oh, with another Wiggly Tough as well. Hmm. I'm loving all these Evolve Pokemon, they're good for my uh, training. We need to start using Confusion instead of my other moves, though, because I'm running out of those. And you've got yourself a scary face. She has no style. She has no grace. This tough has a scary face. She can handstand when she needs to and use Mega Kick to boot you across the room. I was joking, but ow. If it wasn't crit proof, I'd have to heal right this moment. Can inflate herself, just like a balloon. This crazy tough is a cartoon. Kind of works, actually. We need like a uh, 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 we need to get a wiggly tough and just name it Lanky Kong. All right, six hundred experience. Nice. Well done. Now try my new challenge. <sighs> okay, another potion expended. Fortunately, we have a lot of those. The dog is so close, and when, and when he evolves, he'll get a new move, which is normally Wing Attack, but hopefully it'll be something better than Wing Attack. Hyper Voice TM. Ooh. We already have that, of course, on Game Slayer, but there's a few Pokemon here that might make use of that. It's our first really good TM, actually. 90 power, 100% accuracy, it's good stuff. And Paragon can learn it, but he doesn't really need it. Nidhogg can learn it, but he can't really make use of it all that well. Julian can learn it, but he's already on the ropes. We'll hold on to it for now. With a little bit of luck, somebody will be able to use it who can actually, actually, you know, make use of it. But we'll see. Where's this rock got off to? Upstairs, I guess. There's a rock. I see a rock. Can you smell what the rock is cooking? Well, I heard rumors of a child prodigy. Is that you? Or are you merely a child who is here now at the same time as rumors? Gent Jacqueline. Explode. Big mouth, catching flies. Okay. Till we'll start things off. You're not, you're not Togetic, so I'm not worried about getting exploded just this moment, I hope. Metronome! That does not make me feel good about anything at all. Clamp! Okay, you missed. Uh, kill him. Kill him now. Metronome means possible explosion. Get out of my face. It didn't die. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, that's good. Yep, mm-hmm. I can live with that. I can live with that, as long as you die with this. As long as you're dead, I can keep on living. That's, that, that's, just, that's just how this works. Go away. Shoo shoo. <laughs> Good experience. Glalie. Ah, bye. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Ice types are a no-no. <laughs> Alright, Paragon, you got this. 
Give me an M. Give me an E. Give me a T O R. Meteor Mash. Super effective stab, high attack power. If you live through this, you are. Whoa. You're a durable thing, ain't you? What are you made of? Oh, yeah, ice. Ice and stubbornness, apparently. And there's the Hyper Potion. That's fine. Try a Psy Beam. Let's see if your special defense is as good as your regular defense. The answer is... Not remotely. Not even a little bit. 47. Nice. Growing ever stronger. Seedra. Of course, we already have. It was our Articuno. <sighs> it's sad that, that not one of our legendaries was actually a legendary. We had to get our Ho-Oh from a fighting dojo. At least we have one, but... Leaf Blade. Nice, solid hit. Ooh, it lived! It hung on! Just to miss. Oh, I feel bad for you now. Sludge Bomb to finish things off. Alright. Aerodactyl! Ah, there's a Pokemon I've been waiting to see this whole game. Mmm, Paragon should fight you. Could have gone with Game Slayer, but I want to have uh, Meteor Mash, because it sounds like fun. There's a Pokemon right there. It's got Trace. Eh, that's not a terrible one. Let's see how it holds up to this. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. Not good enough, but not bad. Man, I would have loved to have an Aerodactyl. Aerodactyl's a great Pokemon. And Crawdont to finish things off. Demand, if you please. And I'm realizing now that I said something about fast-forwarding through these battles, and then I just never did, but oh well. A bit late now. <coughs> crunch. Got that stab crunch. Not the best damage for it, though. Big old star on your head. Sorry, dude. Hey, crit. You know, he, might, he may actually have survived that normally. <coughs> Pardon me. And Jet and Jacqueline goes down. The rumors were true. Were true. Roll your R's. Soda pop. Soda pop. Soda pops. <laughs> Repel war off. Let me just fix that real quick. Is anybody dying? I feel like somebody was dying. Let me just fix that real quick, if so. Uh, nah, we're good, alright. We're good for now. It's all good. This way was nothing. This way was trainer. What's past here? There's an item there, and there's a rock puzzle that way. That's blocked. Okay, we're going this way then. One second there, uh, purple-haired lady. Or person. Alright. And a one. And a two. And... That's not what I want to do at all. Let's try that again, shall we? And push, push, push. Chugga 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 choo choo! It's the Boulder Express! A little bit repetitive, I guess, but it's okay, we'll get there. This is TM36 Agility, which could have been good once upon a time, but uh, most of my guys who are slow are gonna stay slow no matter what I do, so. That's in place. What's down here, I wonder? Just you? And a Pokeball. Remember back in uh, Red and Blue, this was where Moltres was, but they moved him to uh, Mount Ember in this uh, remake. King's Rock. Not a bad item, actually. If you can get through here, you can go meet the Elite Four. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that grand? Servant Mar Marcellus. Tangela! Notice how I'm not so stoked to see you. <laughs> Alright, couple tail lows for setup, and we'll just confuse our way through them, I guess. Ingrain. Yep, good for you, man. You put all those weird vines to use, have fun with it. Knock yourself out. Oh, would be cool, though, if you had, like... A randomized Pokemon that had like Leech Seed, Ingrain, and, and like Aqua Ring, and just sat there and just drank you to death. 
Just, just take, it gets like six different, well, not six, because, uh, oh, and, and, uh, and rain dance, so, so it can have rain dish for an ability. It, it, it takes, it takes in four different healing effects every turn. It would be madness. Bayleaf! Bay, Bayleaf! I'm, I'm not good at that. Bayleaf is not, is not one of my better impressions. Dragon Breath, because it's probably pretty tanky. Yes, it is. That should be enough to get us to level 55. Dragonite is imminent. Umbreon! I want an Umbreon. Why can I have an Umbreon? I want an Umbreon! <laughs> Matt, stop whining. Hey, <laughs> I can dream. Alright, normally you're quite tanky. Let's see how you hold up to... Actually, I'm gonna just spore you first. Or maybe I won't. Alright, spore. Go. Now, stand up to the Wrath of Frenzy Plant. It's fast, which is also kind of weird. Oh, well, sorry. I, 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 need, I need to stop assuming that. Just because they go before D-Man does not mean they're fast. It just means they're not super duper slow. Still plenty tanky by the looks of it. <clears throat> All right. I need to recharge. T -t Take a, a Frenzy Plant from D-Man is not a small thing. Very nice indeed. And now we shall bask. Bask in the majesty. Please be good. Also, please learn Ice Punch. If you learn Ice Punch instead of Wing Attack when you level up, I will, like, literally, I, I, I won't know how to handle that. Because there's no way the odds of that are in my favor. Please? Because that'd be phenomenal, I gotta say. Just, 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 just completely phenomenal. Look at him! He's finally fully formed! Wants to learn Dragon Claw. I'll take it, it's fine. Dragon Claw is A-OK -okay in my book. It's a 20 point boost on Dragon Breath. I can take that. Not too shabby at all. He has finally reached his final form! Let's check him out. Quirky, still shell armor. Look at the special stats. 160 special attack, 165 special defense, 127 speed, 112 defense. His attack remained absolutely nothing. I don't think he even has an attack stat, actually, because that didn't even go up, I don't think, when he came from uh, Dragonair. I, I I don't think he's, his attack stat exists. Like, I, 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 I'm not expressing that very well, but his base attack must be, like, tiny, like 60 or something, like very, very small. Alright, let's test this baby out. Put the uh, lucky egg on somebody else. Let's go ahead and stick... What? Let's stick the dragon claw on him? Or Yeah, because why not? Oh, no, not claw, sorry. Um, fang. Get that stab of his up and running. Let's go test him out. Did you not save the... Ow. Oh, okay, it's fine, though. It still counts. Purple-haired lady, you are my test subject. I apologize. Trainers live to seek stronger opponents. Yep, like you. And just, just, just your lucky day, Gent Zoe, with your unknown. But have I got just the thing for you? Oh, that feels good. All right, let's try our, like an actual Pokemon now, please. No offense to unknown, but Solrock. Okay, that's good. That's much better because the Solrocks we fought before have been very tanky. Let's see how he does with a stab dragon claw against this thing. Oh yeah, that'll work. <laughs> that will do just nicely, Togepi. Okay. Might explode. Not good if oh it has protect, okay. So it has protect and it can explode and might have volt absorb. That's kinda mean actually. Cool. Okay, yep. I'm convinced. Right on! Alright, D-Man, it's up to you. Because I have some free experience, my friend. Because as we know, Rhydon is quite strong, but... And likes to kiss people, apparently. I forgot how slow I was. I always forget how slow D-Man is. Need to not do that. Sleeping is bad. Getting earthquaked would also be bad. He knows earthquake. That's not good. 
Please survive that. Now we're fine. Because <clears throat> while Rhydon is pretty much a regular Rhydon, his uh, hits do good damage, but of course, D-Man is neutral to them and is very, very tough himself, so it's all good. Quick potion. <clears throat> and we'll grab both of our blue flutes, because we have two of those. Really, magnitude, you have Earthquake. Only on a 10 does magnitude actually outpower Earthquake. Grab my flutes. I got two of them. Dual wield flutes, which will be twice as awake now. And get leaf bladed, please. Oh my god, really? Okay, fine. We'll have to do this the regular way then. The irritating, slow, dumb way, but you know, so be it, I guess. You're a fool. Don't know why you're doing that for, but you're a fool. Of course, I need to heal now, on the off chance of crit by Earthquake, because that would kill us. We're not losing D-Man now. For a moment there, I thought he missed. Because <clears throat> there's a, bit of a, little, a little bit of a hang there. There's the Quake. And there's the Leaf Blade. Okay, you were kind of irritating, but now you're gone. I feel better about this already. Because the four times super effective means you are not surviving that. And Quillfish again. The return of the revenge of the redemption of the Zapdos. <clears throat> this will be neutral because it is part poison, but it's okay. Then again. Kill Hydro Pump. I won't really care that much. And we'll move right along. Definitely gonna have to come back in here and train some of our team because while we are quite strong, we're not ready for the Elite Four. The champion's best Pokemon is, I wanna say 63, maybe even 65, so we have some serious work to do before the actual uh, Elite Four fight, but for right now, we're looking pretty good, actually. Let's go ahead and get um, Nidhogg the Destroyer out of the front line. He's not needed there anymore. Um, Paragon X needs to get some levels up. Alright. Propel War off, spray another. Ugh, sorry for all the sniffing, you guys. My, 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 my nose is being weirdly congested today. Only the Chosen can pass here! I'm not sure why he sounds like that, but he does. Gent Zoe, with five Pokemon again. Golem! We actually have one of those. You are super effective against us, though, which is not so good. I kind of want to Meteor Mash you, but I kind of want to switch Pokemon, too, and that feels like, like the smarter option. Nah. Paragon's gonna handle it. He's got this. My faith is not misplaced. It is well-founded. <coughs> Nido King! Hey! It's Dot You Dead. Many, many poison moves. Probably, probably knows Earthquake too, so. Psy Beam! No oh, one lived. That knows Mud Shot. That's right, it does. Mine has that too. Speed down, which is not good. But it's wasting. Sorry, uh, the trainer is wasting their turn by healing, so. If we're lucky, we'll score ourselves a confusion on him. If not, a crit. If not that, we'll just hit him again. Or it'll dig. Also a viable option. Alright, well, in that case. This is why we have things that fly. <sighs> Alright, so these trainer fights are getting a little bit long, you guys. I probably should start finally instituting that fast forward like I was mentioning earlier. Dugong! Um, not a great fit for D-Man, it's part ice, but it's okay. So yeah, we're gonna start fast forwarding, you guys. I do apologize. It's just getting kind of long. I don't want this episode to be, you know, a, a year and a half long. So, I will keep this moving, keep this bouncing. I'll see you guys at the end of the fight.
All right, just patching up our Pokemon a little bit after that one. Not too bad. And moving on to the next Pokemon uh, trainer right here next one. I'll show you just how good you are. Not. Oh, oh, I'm wounded. The charged words. How many Pokemon do you have? Five again. All right, you guys know the drill. Alright, those two down, moving right along. We're getting pretty close to the end at this point, honestly. I think this is the last puzzle, the last rock anyway. Some more trainers ahead, as we can see, though. Is that a double battle up ahead? Might be. Ooh, good stuff. I do love my, my uh, double battles, particularly if I can use uh, Mythic... Actually, I put Mythic Red and, and uh, Paragon in the same thing. Or Game Slayer and Paragon in the same thing. Or sorry, um... One of the two Earthquakers and, and uh, Mythic Red is what I meant to say. Because, you know, Earthquake! And flying types. All right. Boop, 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 blip, bop, burp, meh. Finally. Through here, up here, fight you two at the same time, preferably. Paragon's a good fit. We're trying to become champions together. I'm not sure it works that way. Only one champion. Sunior and Junior. Uh, Sunior and Junior. No. Senior and Junior. I, I went Sunior and Junior and, and then I messed up again. Wow, okay. Senior and Junior, Max and Joe would like to battle. Gengar and Tauros. Many hours and Tauros. That's a very cool team. Uh, I dig it. I dig it a lot. Earthquake. Flamethrower for good measure. Gengar should not have Levitate, so this is going to be super effective on him. Took it quite well, though, i got to say. Doesn't affect Mythic Red. Does affect Tauros, who is apparently tougher than I would have thought. Nice! They both lived! The Gengar even more impressively. 20, uh, 48, rather, for, for Paragon X. Very nice indeed. Brick Break! Didn't do a lot of damage, because he is resisted, so that makes sense. Psybeam, Flamethrower. A tanky Gengar, though. Who would have thought we ever would have seen the day? That's pretty cool, actually. Tankier, anyway. Oh, but... Wait, so it's Max and Joe, but then her name is Tyra the rest of the time. Okay. I'll pretend I know what that means. Alright, last guy. Probably going to be pretty scary. I don't want the Pokedex. I need that right now. Thank you. Um, Mythic Red's up first. He's our lowest level. So here we go. Oh. Uh. You should be proud of yourself, having battled your way through Victory Road so courageously. Look at your feet. I want to teach you double edge. Oh, cool. But what is it actually, though? Is it double edge or what was it? It's a move that only D-Man can learn. Razor Wind. I don't care. Dang it. I mean, I wouldn't really want a double edge either, so I guess it's okay. Oh, well, we tried. Bye, dude. And we've made it to the Indigo Plateau. Route 23. Where there is no grass, so we couldn't catch things anyway. Do, 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 do. And the Indigo Plateau. Where we can finally challenge the Elite Four. Before we do that, though, I want to see what this uh, Celio of ours has. Quick heal. Let's see what we've got. If, if, we, uh, if it's worth having on the team, having a double water type might be worth it. Wally the Celio. Adamant. Seriously? Attack up, special attack down. That's not a great nature. Volt Absorb, however, is a very good ability. Wow. Okay, so it's an electric proof water type. Much like Game Slayer is, in all fairness, but it heals him. Um, statistically, good defense, good speed. Special attack is his next best stat. Um. It's, I mean, it's. It might be good. I, I can't quite tell. Ice Punch, Hail, Ice Beam, Withdraw. I mean, I wanted an ice attacks, and it's got ice attacks to spare, but I don't quite know if it's worth having. Then again, our options are a little bit thin. 
Then again, we also know for a fact that... Well, no, we don't actually, because our, our, our rival has a water-type starter. We don't know if he's going to have his Gyarados again next time we fight him, though. He did have it last time, so not Moltres was a big help there. But I think not Moltres is probably the best bet to bring along. He's got electric moves. He's got uh, a grass move. So I think we'll have him be our, our sixth Pokemon going into our final encounter with the Elite Four. So I'll do some training, you guys. Get ourselves ready for the Elite Four. And next time around, we'll make our our, our challenge. Are there magnet, actually, are there magnets in here? I might. Looking for a magnet, looking for a magnet. Maybe I have one. Yes, I do. Nice. All right. So our team for the Elite Four is going to be Mythic Red the Ho-Oh, Paragon X the Metagross, D-Man the Venusaur, Game Slayer the Mar- uh, pfft, Swampert, and Not Moltres the Electrode, and Nidhogg the Dragonite. If this team can't do it, we lose. I mean, that's kind of how that works. But yeah. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed our, our, our conquest of Victory Road. If you want me to reconsider Wally, be sure to leave me a comment down below and try to persuade me. And um, yeah, wish me luck. I'll see you guys in the next one for our final confrontation. And for now, Monster Mad Out. I'll see you in the appreciation segment of our video in just a moment. Bye-bye! Hey guys, Monster Matt here for the appreciation segment of our video. On the last entry in our series, Unleashing the Power, the Viridian City Gym, where we both fought Giovanni and our rival, number 23 in the series, we got 52 views, 14 likes, and 26 comments coming from Primetron Zero Gaming, Chaos Retro Gaming 3, Jarnay, Paragon X9, Marvin Kyler Omar 69, MDP Games, Barefoot Bushcraft, Hannon Adventures, Marvin Shaker, and Eric for President. Thanks so much to everyone who dropped on by and left me a comment. Always awesome see seeing you guys, hearing from you, and getting to talk with you uh, in the uh, comment section down below. Because the efforts of you and everyone on our uh, channel, everyone part of our amazing community, the channel has grown to 659 subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys. We've passed 650, and it's just amazing. You know, it, uh, the, the, the rate that you guys have, have been propelling our little channel along has been absolutely fantastic, and thank you so much. I really have no words to express how grateful I am, but just know that it means a lot to me. So thank you so much, you guys. And, um... Yeah, just make sure to keep on being awesome. Have a, you know, t take some time out for yourself. It's important to try to be happy in your life. I know it's not easy, but keep trying, you guys, because you're worth it. So thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. And for now, a monster mat out. Bye bye.